Welcome to the June 24th, 2019 Advanced Report for McGowan Group clients and NetworthRadio.com listeners. I'm Spencer McGowan, President of McGowan Group and your financial weatherman. When there are storms in the geopolitical and global financial markets, this is your best source for a graphic representation of global money flows and potentially what that means for investment strategy. Let's start right in on the mission. Normally, when there's Middle East conflict escalation, we do see certain market impacts. One of those would normally be a, a risk sell-off in U.S. equity markets, but not so this week. Look at the Dow. We're 26,700 to 800 at the end of the week. We are just two to 300 points away from an all-time high in the Dow. And the S&P this week made two all-time highs, 52-week highs and all-time highs. So U.S. equity remains strong. Normally, when fear escalates around the world, we see it reflected with falling equity prices. Not so. And what about those trade fears that have been driving the market down? All of that seems to have disappeared. And the Federal Reserve plays a part in this by signaling that they could cut rates as soon as July. And that change in posture fueled the rally in U.S. equity markets, uh, but it also caused the U.S. equity market markets to ignore the trade negotiations as well as the Iranian escalations that have been occurring since May. We're going to cover those Iranian escalations in detail. May and June were the primary parts and this week was a climax with the downing of the U.S. drone by Iran. We can see two impacts here. This is gold. Gold actually had hovered near $1,300 an ounce, spiking over $1,400 per ounce, about a $100 increase as these escalations unfold. A lot of this trading and impact took place in Asia. Well, oil prices spiked. They were as low, there was a low below 51 in the past two weeks. This five-day chart shows a spike and the overnight high before the end of the week was actually 58, a $7 increase in oil, just like that, in about a week. Well, the Asian buying of U.S. Treasuries corresponded to the downing of that drone. This is the 10-year yield. This is the corresponding price of a U.S. Treasury bond. Lots of buying demand right here, and most of it took place while we were asleep after that drone was taken down by Iran. And what happened here? Well, what you're seeing is primarily in Asian markets, the buying of U.S. Treasuries as a safe haven went below 2% on the 10-year Treasury, further inverting the yield curve, at least temporarily. You can see 1.975 at the low yield this week before that moderated at the end of the week. Those are three reactions to fear, but we did not see the equity market sell-off. Let's take a little bit longer view on interest rates here because we heard a lot about the Fed and the inversion. We've got the 10-year U.S. Treasury and the T-bill down here. And the reason that we're bringing this, this chart to your attention, this is a 15-year history. You can see some inversions before the crisis where the long-term 10-year yield actually falls below the T-bill. And that's supposed to be a sign of recession. The Federal Reserve said we'll, we may cut the cash rates, the overnight bank lending rate, which would drive the T-bill. The T-bill this week hits a low point where it's closer to 2%. Yet the Fed target for overnight cash is still two and a quarter to two and a half. The market moved in anticipation. Washington is leaky, and apparently the Federal Reserve is too. But fear buying also drove that because both the 90-day T-bill and the 10-year U.S. Treasury look pretty good in turbulence. What are the impacts for portfolios and 
potentially what strategies over the next five years could have the best impact on your portfolio, we're going to cover those details along with the risks involved in the escalation in the Middle East, as well as why is the U.S. equity market so strong in the face of heightened anxiety. Join us at NetWorthRadio.com and each week right here at YouTube McGowan Group. I'm Spencer McGowan, your financial weatherman. Be sure to subscribe for fast-breaking news that could impact your portfolio with intelligence that you just can't get anywhere else. My firm, McGowan Group Asset Management, sponsors NetWorthRadio.com and, of course, our YouTube channel under McGowan Group. Some educational disclosures and discussions that I wanted to add to the broadcast. The first is I'm very proud of our team, including Stephen Norris, who will be added as soon as we redo the picture. He's our newest team member. Come down, meet the team that cares, get a written plan, because the securities we discuss, the financial news we discuss, that's not a recommendation until you actually come down and get a customized plan at the Crescent. You'll get a tour, and we look forward to seeing you. We're going to cover value at risk of loss in portfolios, and you can see it right here. Learn about our performance, what happened in 2008, how long did it take to recover. All of those items are posted right here at networthradio.com or the mcgowangroup.com. The other part of the program, when we look at price fluctuations and bear markets and risk control, that's a huge part of NetWorthRadio.com. We look forward to helping you advance your plan and your cash flow. Come down and meet the team that cares.